and oh, vicious Bobby Volker looking to even the rivalry after that truncated fight back in May. We are set and underway with tonight's main event, welterweight competition in the red gloves, relentless Roger Bowling, and again, immediately going to the body of vicious Bobby Volker wearing the dark gloves. They're picking up exactly where they left <laughs> off, there's no doubt. And what a spirited affair their first meeting was. And again, Bowling looking to drop levels, but this time Volker able to thwart the takedown attempt. And man, if there was a more apropos sober came for someone, I don't know that there is a better one than relentless Roger Bowling. Yeah, I, I agree with that, Moro. And he gets the takedown, but it looks like Bobby Volker is about to pop back up. Use the cage! One wall walking straight right back up, making Bowling work. One thing Bowling did, he threw an inside low kick early, and then the second one, Volker checked it. Takedown, but Volker's going for the guillotine jump. Bowling in the close guard. You can see Bowling with the pressure with the left arm down on the wrist of Volker, just twisting his body. That negates a lot of the leverage on that choke, doing a good job. Hands are no longer locked, so the choke is not really a threat unless he can get them locked again. He may have them locked again. But Volker's doing a good job, or uh, Bowling's doing a good job of shrugging, protecting his neck. 90 seconds into this rematch between undefeated relentless Roger Bowling and Kansas City MMA veteran. Vicious Bobby Volker Bowling doing what a lot of wrestlers like to do. Puts Volker against the fence, using it as an ally. Notice one thing, when you try to pass the guard, you go to half guard across sides when the guy's on his back. He can, he can wall walk easier and get up, which Volker did. Stiff left hand from Bowling. Thunderous body kick by Bowling. These kicks of Bowling are really fast and they're really damaging. And it's like he's intercepting Volker. Even there, Volker was looking to probe with the jab and got caught with the uh, right hand. High head kick by Volker. Bowling, and he is really mixing it up now and even going for the takedown. Bull rushes Volker. Of mind to once again stop that takedown attempt. Yeah, good job by Volker. He was getting tagged there, and uh, Bowling looked like he had good timing on that takedown, but Volker did a good job getting that underhook and stuffing it. When they're kickboxing, Bowling has such a speed advantage. Just past the midway point of the opening round, short knee into the quad area, takedown again, but Volker able to pop immediately back up. And really, that's the point where, you know, as a judge, the takedown, but it's momentarily, you can't score that, can you? But getting up doesn't necessarily show offense. Getting takedown shows me that you're being aggressive overall. You might get back up, but hey, you're just getting back up from somebody attacking you. Good point. Two minutes now remaining in the opening stanza. Bowling content to work in the clinch, but I want to see him kickbox some more because I, that left hook, he's been landing it at will when they have distance. And he's been mixing it up with the kicks, left and right, both with great success. But you're right, he has to create separation, but it's Volker now just, they're pummeling now along the fence. And there's that separation, level trajectory, elbow from Bowling, comes in with a right, tag with a counter right from Volker. Nice job by Volker. And overall, these guys have been on, on the cage a lot tied up. I think that's going to pay dividends a little bit for Volker. Uh, he's making Bowling work a lot in there. I think Bowling's speed advantage is not being taken advantage of enough. They're tied up too much for Bowling to take advantage of it. One thing Bowling is doing also is when he throws those big bombs, he drops his other hand. He's, he's open for a counter, especially for a straight right. We talked at the opening of the telecast about Tyron Woodley graduating from the Strike Force Challenger Series in the welterweight division. Tarek Safadine doing very well as a challenger. Relentless Roger Bowling now undefeated, looking to move up as well. But vicious Bobby Volker again in his 31st professional fight at the age of 31. He knows that time is also becoming a factor for him. Having had so much experience, he would like to make some money in this sport. Absolutely, and, he, and rightfully so. He's a, he's a veteran of the sport. He's got a lot of big wins under his belt. Very tough kid. I really am I'm starting to question Bowling's strategy here. The corner must be telling him, you know, let's get takedowns and, and wear him out on the ground. Bowling's got the advantage standing up with speed. Uh, maybe, maybe I don't know, he's worried a little bit about Volker's power. I don't know why they're doing it. I agree, Tad. And after two Amazing performances by Fresno fan favorites, Billy Evangelista and LeVar Johnson. The crowd maybe a little spent, but Bowling and Volker doing their best here 
in the opening five minutes as we go to round number two. They even detected what we noticed. When there was distance, he was hurting Volker. When they were in close, that wasn't the case. Right. Second round underway again, Bowling and Volker each land respective lefts, and now there's a quick exchange. Volker's corner was telling me between rounds, look for that uppercut, and he definitely looked for it early on. Punch, kick combos, the instructions from Bobby Volker's co uh, corner. Bobby Volker is starting to time Roger Bowling now. Bowling is coming in too wide with his punches, and that's why he's going for the clinch, because he knows he's getting tagged. And Volker again. Run. Face lock there momentarily was going for the guillotine. May try to work the wizard here. And bowling again, just pinning him up along the cage. Yeah, and Bowling was looking for that little leg sweep again that it was successful for him in the first round a couple times. But I, I, I think Volker's wise to it now, uh, prevented it that time. This is such a different fight than the first Very one. different. The first one, they just slugged for three rounds. Or almost three. Uppercut by Volker. Bowling's doing a good job now and then going down the bottom. And then coming back upstairs, he's opening him up. One thing Bowling's doing, though, maybe, is loading up too much. Because he's starting to telegraph his punches. There's a left hand from Bowling that jacked Volker. But Volker's good hips. out attempts of defense has really improved from the last fight. Good hips, good hips. He needs to snap him down here. He needs to keep Bowling down on his face, make Bowling carry his weight. Good job inflicting some uppercuts there. But that's the thing. I think that's why he didn't maybe snap him down. He's content to just strike and score points. He's hurt now. He was hurt on his hands and knees. He's definitely hurt. And Volker beginning. Oh. Left hand rocks. Relentless Roger Bowling. Volker now beginning to unload as Bowling desperately tries to come back. Volker needs to keep the pressure on here. And Bowling wants no more of the striking exchange. Sloppy shot. And again, the sprawl tactics by Bobby Volker paying dividends in this fight. Great takedown defense by Volker in this fight. And I tell you what, he's moving head better and I think that's paying off that's the difference right now in this second fight another thing is that Roger Bowling is not winning the punching exchanges he's losing the punching exchanges that's why he did the sloppy shot Bobby needs to watch his arm there you can see Bowling left arm bar. that arm bar from the bottom two minutes 20 seconds left in the second round this is the main event a rematch between Undefeated welterweight Roger Bowling on the bottom and vicious Bobby Volker. This is where Volker can do a lot of damage. He's naturally the bigger guy. Make him carry his weight. Gotta watch out for the armbar, though. You can see. He wants to stack him. See, Bowling keeps going for it. But like you say, Volker with the size advantage could stack Bowling and just put the pressure of his body weight on him as now he postures. Looking to do some ground and pound from the open guard of relentless Roger Bowling. For this fight. Oh, really? Definitely. Volker's putting an ass whooping on him here. And Bowling doesn't have any answer to what is happening. He's not pushing back with the heels on hips. A minute and a half remaining in the second round. Bobby Volker's punch output begins to increase. Yeah, and, and Bowling, you know, at the start of this fight and throughout this fight has not been near as aggressive as the first fight. And you wonder how much, how much advantage that gave the Volker.